Hey guys, so for today's video, I decided to challenge myself and wake up at 5 a.m. every day for a week. I wanted to see if it would actually be worth it and if it would benefit my lifestyle. I've always thought I'd never be able to consistently wake up this early, but this actually went better than I expected. Stay tuned for the final analysis. So it is currently 8.59, but I thought that I would get a head start to the week and actually go to bed early because I'm somebody who literally needs her sleep like if I don't get enough sleep I will feel nauseous like it's not a good it's not a good thing so I'm gonna be making sure that hopefully every single night I get at least eight hours I don't know what it's gonna be like sorry I have my retainer in by the way so I have a bit of a lisp but I don't know what it's gonna be like falling asleep tonight because I haven't been to bed this early in a while but I'm gonna force myself to sleep so yeah I'm honestly scared for this week I'm nervous but I know if I put my mind to something I can do it and I just really want to try it because I have never tried to wake up at 5 a.m. for a week. I'm gonna set my alarm. 5 a.m. baby, here is the proof in the pudding. See you at five. Ew, that sounds disgusting. weirded out with myself this morning because i am like not even tired i couldn't fall asleep last night like i went to bed at nine but i didn't like actually fall asleep probably until like 10 but that's still like a good sleep like that's still like a good solid seven hour sleep so i don't know if that's why i was definitely like a little tiny bit tired while waking up but it wasn't like a oh my god i want to go back to bed it was more just like a, i'm excited to wake up and film this video i'm really just shocked with myself right now of how i'm this awake i think it's because like last night i was getting myself pumped up and like maybe it's like adrenaline because when i get excited for something i literally like can't sleep so this might be what's happening but i'm so impressed with myself today like, we're starting strong um but yeah i was watching a whole bunch of like 5 a.m morning routines yesterday and it just really motivated me but anyways my hair is so greasy right now I feel like this is like really gonna wake me up especially putting it over my eyes that feels so good it's so cold oh my god but if you guys are trying to wake up early one thing that i would really suggest doing is like first thing when you wake up splash your face with cold water it feels so good and it wakes me up and also every single time i used to wake up early i would never get out of my pajamas right away so what i made sure to do today was get dressed in my workout clothes right away before doing anything except like brushing my teeth and stuff because now i really can't go back to bed and it allows me to kind of wake up more so that my body knows how like it's go time and not sleep time you know so i feel like that really helps too also i'm gonna fill up my water bottle right now and i'm gonna chug a bit of water because apparently that really is supposed to help in the morning <laughs> So I just made myself a cup of bone broth. I'm gonna be having this every single morning. And bone broth, I don't know if you guys know this, but it has so many amazing benefits for you. I'll talk about it more later, but it's so yummy. And I don't really wanna have caffeine at this hour just because I know that it's gonna make me crash and I don't wanna rely on it. And then I'm also just going to be doing some early morning gratitude. And this is just in my five minute journal. everything together for the gym let's go i haven't gone to the gym when it's dark in like forever so my brain is like tricking me it's night time so weird right now just got to the gym it's currently 6 45 um we're gonna go work out now the tiredness is starting to hit me so this is probably good that we're gonna go move our body because like i when i was driving i was like i gotta keep you on it let's go do this workout hopefully this wakes me up kind of dreading this but like also excited let's go I 
just got home from the gym. It's currently 8.20 and I'm starting to feel a little bit tired now. But anyways, I'm going to make a protein shake so that's something to eat or drink. And then I'm just going to hop in the shower and then hopefully that'll wake me up a bit too. Just about to brush my teeth and head to bed analysis of the day i was feeling pretty good in the morning and then all of a sudden around like 10 11 i hit a wall like a wall i had to take a nap so i took about a half hour nap and then i felt a little better then i had a coffee and then i was like good for the rest of the day My body's also getting adjusted to waking up so early so it's like what are you doing it's about 8 30 right now I'm gonna aim to be in bed and sleeping by 9 9 30 but yeah overall today was not bad we'll see tomorrow day two good night <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is currently just past five. Look at my eye. Literally flaring so bad. Are you kidding me? I try to put some cream on it right now, but I think that's just gonna burn me. Why is it so bad? It's because I'm waking up at five. Eczema girly. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm honestly not in the best mood this morning because I woke up with my eye burning, but you know what? We'll get past it. Okay, let's go ice roll. I'm gonna boil the water for my bone broth. Got us into my workout set first so that I feel motivated to actually go to the gym. Otherwise, I'm literally gonna fall back asleep. So, I had to put this on, but still wearing a sweater over top because I'm so cold. <laughs> I'm just gonna chug a whole bunch of water right now because I feel like I'm really dehydrated. Let's chug some water. I feel like that also helps to really wake me up like it did yesterday. Um, and it just feels like good having cold water or just like water first thing in the morning down your system, you know? Like you can feel it like going down. Like I love that feeling. Okay guys, we are ready to go to the gym. I'm so tired right now. I really hope this wakes me up. I'm just gonna be walking on the treadmill today and then saunaing. I'm so excited to sauna, but let's hope this wakes me up because I'm feeling so tired. Just got in the sauna. It's currently 6, um, 7.30, sorry. I was starting my workout at 6.30. Um, now I'm just going to stay in the sauna for about 20 minutes and do a little meditation. I love meditating in here and when we get back we're going to shower and then basically start our day at like 8 o'clock which is insane because usually that's the time that I wake up at. It almost feels like I'm in a fever dream. Okay, so it is currently 8.30 p.m. And I just got home not too long ago from hanging out with a friend and I literally need to go to bed right away I just had dinner and I don't even have time I feel like to unwind because usually I like to watch a TV show Take time doing my skincare routine and just like unwind for the night But I feel like I don't have time to do that because I need to be in bed Literally by nine if I want to get a proper eight hours sleep So that's the thing that I just feel like really sucks about waking up so early is that if you want to get like a proper eight hour sleep you have to go to bed at 9 which is so early and i'm kind of like i'm not like a night owl i never really stay up past 12 but i do like my evenings going to bed at 9 is like such a huge adjustment and i'm like whoa like i feel like i'm just like starting to unwind and then i have to go to bed so that's the only thing that i am feeling right now is that really sucks it's just funny because either way if you go to bed at 12 and wake up at 8 or go to bed at 9 and wake up at 5 you're still getting an eight hour sleep but waking up at five just feels so torturous why does it feel so much different when you still got an eight hour sleep it's so weird like is this a mental thing i have no idea but anyways i am going to go get ready for bed so that i can get a proper sleep tonight and i guess i'll see you guys at 5 a.m tomorrow good night I'm 
extremely proud of myself for doing this the third day in a row honestly this just goes to prove you can really do anything you set your mind to because i genuinely like set my mind to do this and i'm actually doing it like i thought that there was no way in hell that i'd be able to wake up at 5 a.m for a week it's so funny because like joel literally my boyfriend he wakes up at 5 40 every single day and so i am actually waking up earlier than him and it's so funny seeing him in the mornings because i never see him in the mornings and i also feel like if it was like bright outside at this time like it is in the summer actually i don't know if it's bright this early in the summer and if it was bright it would be a lot nicer but it's just like the fact that it's dark it just really does not motivate you to want to get out of bed because i correlate darkness with like sleepy time and like the middle of the night but i know so many people wake up at five for like their jobs and whatever so it's like i'm not here trying to complain but it's just interesting anyways let's go ice roll bone broth drink some water i don't know why but i'm literally so thirsty at this hour like i'm usually never this thirsty when i wake up but at 5 a.m apparently i am This ice roller honestly does a lot for me. It genuinely wakes my eyes up. So if you guys have troubles waking up in the morning, definitely get one of these, not just for like, because it's good for your face and anti-inflammatory or whatever, but genuinely because just putting this coldness on my eyes helps them wake up. You can also use like cold spoons, but yeah, it literally helps. And it also helps with my eczema when I have like flare ups like I'm having right now on my eye and like right here. Um, it really it does help soothe it and yeah, I know it's really beneficial for like stuff like that It just feels really good in the morning regardless This bone broth is genuinely hitting the spot right now Okay, you guys just finished writing my five-minute journal Done my bone broth and now we're gonna go do some yoga to stretch out a bit. Okay guys, so we are just about to go to the gym. I'm not gonna drive to the gym today. I'm just gonna use my apartment gym and then use the sauna again today. And then tomorrow we'll go out to the actual gym and I'll drive there again. But yeah, doing the stretch in the morning, like doing my yoga stretching, it honestly makes the world of a difference in terms of like how my body feels because it just really stretches me out and it just makes me feel so much better than when I initially wake up. And now I feel like, I can actually like move properly you know what i mean so i would definitely would recommend if you guys are looking to add something into your morning routines and whatever it can be like a five minute stretching video 10 minutes like the ones that i do are only 10 minutes long so it's like the perfect length if you have like somewhere to go or you have to go to work right away or whatever but yeah i would highly suggest doing um yoga or stretching in the morning it just feels so good and it's also good to like increase and keep up your flexibility too Cause that's one thing i noticed is like damn like i'm so inflexible so then once i started doing yoga i'm like okay this is getting better but anyways so we're gonna go to the gym sauna and yeah okay so i just thought i'd come on here and give you guys an update it is currently 11 40 and I took a nap like an hour ago I took about a 40 minute nap because I just had to I was feeling so tired like once 10 o'clock hits This is exactly what happened to me yesterday. I took a nap because I was just feeling so tired But it's okay. At least we still woke up at 5 and I haven't snoozed the alarm yet So I'm really proud of myself. So anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about the bone broth that I've been drinking every morning So this is the bone broth and dr. Kellyanne is actually sponsoring this video But I'm so excited because I feel like I manifested this because I've heard about bone broth Like it's referred to on the internet as like liquid gold. I've heard about it I've been wanting to try because I know it's so good for you And I've been wanting to really like fix my gut health and everything and I know that bone broth can help do that because everything stems from within 
your gut like literally everything and anyway so i've been wanting to try bone broth but i've never actually just gone out and bought it i don't know why i've just like never come across any bone broth products and so i was literally so excited when they reached out to me and i'm like i think i manifested this because i was thinking about bone broth but anyways so yeah i've been having this every single morning and it's been honestly my favorite thing and it gives me a boost of energy in the morning it's so easy to make i literally just take one packet because it comes in a box with seven packets as you can see and i just take one packet put it in hot water mix it in and that's all you gotta do but anyways if you guys haven't heard about bone broth it is so good for you like just literally go on the internet and type in benefits of bone broth and like so many things will come up but it's actually insane because it has 16 grams of protein and only 75 calories i believe and then less than one gram of carbs there's no fat no sugar no cholesterol this actually also contains grass-fed bovine collagen which obviously you know collagen is so good for your hair skin nails and all of that since i started drinking this i have noticed just like this glow in my skin it's kind of like health shining from within because everything starts from inside you guys like if you want to heal anything it starts from inside and so whenever my skin is good whenever my hair looks shiny i always directly correlate it to what i'm eating like when i do not eat good i can see that in my skin because i get a breakout but when i'm eating and putting the right products in my body i can tell but yeah it's paleo friendly no soy no dairy keto friendly non-gmo no gluten bringing this in the morning first thing is perfect because it gives me something in my stomach before i go to the gym because if i work out on an empty stomach usually it doesn't work out well and i get a little nauseous so drinking this is like the perfect medium so i don't have to eat anything it's just like a warm cozy drink in the morning that provides me with protein and all that so it's perfect it's actually the miso mushroom flavor and i love miso soup i actually haven't tried this one yet because i have been drinking the french onion one but today i'm gonna try the miso one and why i love these single packets so much is because all you need to do is add them to hot water and that's what i've been doing every morning but if you even want to you can make it more of a broth where you can add like mushrooms green pepper make it more like a soup if you'd like like there's a whole bunch of recipes that you can follow for it but i personally just like adding it to hot water because that's just the easiest most convenient way for me to do it but you can also make it into like a recipe or whatever you want to do Okay, I just made the bone broth. You guys saw how literally easy it is to make. And that's why I've been making it at 5 a.m. every morning. But I needed an afternoon pick-me-up, so I'm so excited. I honestly just love drinking it in a mug like this. But like I said, you can make it into a soup. That is so good. But anyway, so if you guys are interested in checking out Dr. Kellyanne's bone broth, everything will be linked down below as well as a coupon code that you guys can use to get a discount. But I seriously, not even just because of this is sponsored, but I 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 recommend this. And I hope that I have the privilege of drinking this for years to come because I'm obsessed. Can't wait to drink it at 5 a.m. tomorrow again. This is just my little afternoon pick-me-up. Cheers. probably the most tired i've been yet and i can go back to bed like so easily right now like i really am tempted to just go back to bed i did go to bed last night at like 9 30 which gave me like a seven and a half hour sleep which isn't even bad at all almost eight hours but i just feel like this week is like catching up to me i just feel like since my body isn't adjusted to waking up at five it's like exhausted i'm just gonna power through it i've been hitting a wall every single day at 10 o'clock i just like need a nap it's either nap or coffee so like i'd rather nap anyways yeah i'm just so tired i just need to get dressed in my workout stuff now but i'm so lazy i don't want to go to the gym i'm so tired power through it guys oh my goodness <laughs> I feel like I'm moving so slow because I'm so tired. Like I feel like I'm going in slow motion. But let's drink some water. Oh god, I didn't screw that lid on properly. I really am half asleep and it just tripped all over me. That's great. Okay. I don't know if you guys have heard of the lucky girl mentality but i'm trying to have that it's basically like this tiktok trend that people were saying that like if you have the lucky girl mentality lucky things will happen to you because you're manifesting that so i'm just, i just keep like repeating to myself in my head like 
I'm so lucky. Just great things happen to me because I'm just so lucky. Repeatedly saying that is like planting a seed in your brain and then you're gonna subconsciously actually manifest that, you know what I mean? That's why your thoughts are so important. So I've been trying to just literally tell myself like, I'm so lucky, good things happen to me. made it to the gym it's currently 6 45 it's raining i feel tired this is just like if it wasn't raining it would probably be like bitter maybe if the sun was out it would be better but it's literally dark and raining right now but the last thing i do is feel like working out to be honest we're still gonna do it because sometimes you just have to push yourself and it's important to push yourself and i'm a lazy girl at heart like i really am i feel like everybody is honestly the motivation is not always going to be there and that's why having determination is so important but yeah let's just get this freaking workout done and i know i'm going to feel really good when it's done so it honestly does feel good that like i'm getting shit done while the sun is literally not even risen yet and people are still sleeping it's a mix of emotions this morning anyways let's go work out myself a green smoothie this is so healthy it has like spinach ginger lemon um cucumber so good for you i'll have the recipe in my next video but yeah gonna drink this and then shower and i'm just feeling really good and healthy right now honestly after that workout and this now i'm glad i did everything Good morning you guys it is day five i'm so excited it's the last day i just cannot wait to sleep in tomorrow if i'm honest i was in such a deep sleep this morning like i was full-on dreaming but this is the first day that i actually snoozed my alarm and i it's about like 5 20 now but throughout the week i didn't even snooze the alarm once which i'm so proud of because i'm a snoozer like i'm notorious for snoozing my alarm and i have not snoozed it all week except for today which is so good of me but i just had to snooze it today because i literally was like mid-dream and then like i just felt so delirious when i woke up so i'm like okay i need to lay my head down for another 15 minutes here but i actually don't feel like too tired today just because i feel like since it's the last day i kind of have some adrenaline i know it's my last time waking up at five like i get to sleep in tomorrow so i'm honestly like not that tired right now like i'm okay and i also feel like my body's getting a little bit adjusted to this already so i'm gonna hit it with a real surprise tomorrow when i sleep in but anyways okay let's go ice roll bone broth for a little morning routine i'm gonna spray myself with some perfume because smelling it just makes me feel good okay let's do our morning routine time for my favorite part oh my gosh it's like colder than you guys would think like when i first saw ice rollers and i saw people put them all over their face i don't know why but i didn't expect it to be that cold but it's really cold comment down below what time you guys wake up at because I'm just genuinely curious because I feel like depending on what you do for work and everything, I just feel like everybody wakes up at such different times and has their own idea of what early is. So yeah, comment down below what time you guys wake up and I'm excited to see. I'm sure 5 a.m. is like the normal for a lot of people. I used to have to wake up at 5 a.m. for set sometimes and even like 3 a.m. So waking up at 3 a.m. I would actually be so nauseous because that was like horrible waking up that early because I would start at like four. Yeah, five is definitely better than three.
you guys, I just made myself another green smoothie this morning. I've been loving these and it just makes me feel so healthy. But yeah, I'm obsessed. Okay, so this experiment kind of changed my life. I think I'm gonna make it my new morning routine. Honestly, it was really brutal and tough to do this, but it made me feel so good and so productive, especially at the end of the day. I was like, damn, I accomplished so much today. I woke up to my morning routine ready to work by eight. And it's just like the best feeling, especially because now the sun sets at four o'clock and it's like completely dark at 4.30. So waking up at my normal time and then being ready to start work at 12 only gives me like four hours of daylight, which a lot of the times when I'm filming just isn't enough. I was taking naps every day though, but now instead of taking a nap, I'm just having a coffee at around the time I take a nap and then it just fuels me for the rest of the day, so I'm fine. But I think also my body was just getting adjusted to waking up at five, because if you want to do this, obviously you have to give your body time to get adjusted and that's what my body was trying to do this past week. That's why I kind of felt like shit some mornings. But as long as I'm going to bed by nine and I get a good eight hours sleep, honestly, I really like it. But anyways, yeah, so if you guys are planning on adjusting your sleep schedule and you want to wake up early, my best advice would be to give yourself time to get used to it. It's not going to feel good the first week that you're doing it. You're going to feel tired. You're going to want to nap. And that's okay because your body's getting used to it. But your body will eventually adjust. But anyway, so yeah, that's my final analysis on waking up at 5 a.m. I'm still shocked about it, how this actually changed my routine. It really does make me feel healthy, productive, and good. And it's also the fact that I'm kind of challenging myself every day because I feel like my life for a while now has been lacking like that challenge aspect to it where I was super comfortable in my routine, waking up at eight and doing all of that. And I had nothing that was really challenging me. So this kind of puts that little challenge in my routine and in my life and so that when i do accomplish this i feel so amazing because i'm like yeah i did that you know and i think that adds to it why i like it and also sleeping in on the weekends just feels that much better but yeah having a solid routine did make a huge difference too just because i wasn't waking up at five and then was like oh shit i have nothing to do i was waking up at five and then I knew I wanted to do my yoga, gratitude and all that. So your routine doesn't have to look like mine. Just if you write out your own routine of what makes you feel good, I feel like that's really important to have. Just some structure to it so you're not waking up and being like, why am I waking up this early? Like you have to give yourself a reason why you're waking up that early or else you're not gonna be motivated to do it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this experiment, I guess. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And also go follow me on Instagram. It's just Michaela Bento, link down below. And also do not forget to check out Dr. Kellyanne's bone broth. Um, all the info is down below, like I said. I'll be your